Okay, the next example here is a rectangular box with a square base and with a capacity of 30 cubic meter is to be built. The material for the top and front cost 15 per square meter and for the bottom sides and back 10 per square meter. Find the minimum cost. So we are going to find, so take note, we are going to find the minimum cost. So what we are going to do here, we are going to find the derivative of the cost. So first we are going to draw the figure of that rectangular box. So we have here the figure here. Okay, so as we can see, we have here a rectangular box square at the base and top portion so if we are going to look at here the top and the front the top and the top and the front that cost 15 per square meter while the remaining three sides remaining three sides and the bottom part that is 10 per square meter so we have here so the formula that we are going to use here because we are going to find the minimum cost so we are going to find the derivative of the cost so you will have cost here that is equal to 15 15 times the total cost here total cost that is equal to 15 times top plus front plus 10 times the bottom part times the remaining three sides okay so you will have total cost that is equal to 15 times the area of the top portion because that is a square so that is x square and the area of the front that is x times y because the height here that is y okay so therefore that is for the front and for the price of the cost of the bottom part that is 10 that is 10 times the bottom part is x square so you will have x square plus the three remaining sides that is x times y times three sides so you will have 3x times y another formula that is given that is the rectangular box with a square base with a capacity of 30 cubic meters so if the given is 30 cubic meters so we know that that is a volume because that is cubic meters that is a volume so formula of the volume of the box that is equal to area of the base times height what is area of the base of the box that is square base so therefore that is x square times the height here given as y so therefore volume is given as 30 cubic meters is equal to x square times y okay let's continue so therefore we will have so the formula of the cost that is equal to 15 times area of the base area of the top plus area of the front plus 10 pesos per square meter times area of the base plus area of the three sides then distribute the 15 inside so 15 x square 15 times xy 10 x square 10 times 3 is 30 xy so therefore cost is equal to 15 times a uh, plus 10 25 x square 15 plus 30 35 x y so after this one we are going to find the derivative of the cost but before that we are going to express y in terms of x so that we can have only one variable 
So, where can we get the, val the value of y? That is from the formula of the volume. Okay, let's continue. So, cost is equal to 25x squared plus 45xy. But it is given that the volume of that rectangular box, the capacity of 30, 30 cubic meters, that is equal to x squared times y. So, therefore, we are going to express y in terms of x. So, cross multiply x squared. That's the reason we have 30 over x squared. Substitute y is equal to 30 over x squared. 2 cost is equal to 25x squared plus 45xy. Substitute the value of y. Okay. Substitute the value of y. This one. 2 here. So, therefore, you will have 25x squared plus 45x. That is equal to 30 over x squared. Okay. Let's continue. So, because we are solving for the minimum cost, so what is being maximized or minimized, that is the one that you are going to find the derivative. So, therefore, you will have cost is equal to 25x squared plus 45x, 30 over x squared, wherein you can cancel x over x squared. Remaining here is x. Find the derivative of 25x squared plus 45 times 30 over x. Derivative of 25x squared, that is equal to 50x. Derivative of a constant over a variable that is negative of your numerator over square of the denominator. So after this one, you can find the derivative, set the first derivative to zero to find the maximum and minimum so by setting that to zero so you will have dc over dx equal to zero so therefore we have here dc over dx equal to zero so we have transpose 50 so that's the reason you will have 50x is equal to 45 times 30 over x squared cross multiply x times x squared that is x cubed so, 45 times 30, that is 1,350, divided by 50. So, therefore, x is equal to 3 meters. So, once you can solve for x, then we can solve for the value of y. So, the value of y, that is from the formula, y is equal to 30 over x squared. That is from, okay, from... Okay. from volume that is equal to x squared times y wherein volume is given as 30 is equal to x squared times y so you will have we will have we will have y is equal to 30 over x squared. So you will have y is equal to 30 over x squared. So therefore, once you will have that one, y is equal to 30 over x squared. x is equal to 3, so that's the reason that becomes 9. So y is equal to 3.33 or 10 over 3 meters so from that we can solve now the cost at x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 10 over 3 or 3.33 3, 3 meters so cost is equal to the formula 15 times x squared plus xy plus 10 x squared plus 3 xy then substitute the value of x and y so x squared it is 9 x is 3 y is 10 over 3 plus 10 x squared is 9 plus 3 times x is so we have here x times 3 times y 10 over 3 so we can cancel here 3 by 3 so cancel so 19 so you will have 9 times 9 plus 10 then we have here cancel on 3 so you will have 30 
So 30 plus 9, so 39 times 10, 390. 19 times 15, 285. So the cost here is equal to 675. So that's it. Thank you.